guys, how are you? Hey, this isn't something that uh, my traditional s subscriber will probably find very useful, uh, but it's something that I wanted to share uh, because I think that it can really improve the quality of life uh, for anybody who suffers from trigger finger. Uh, so I first had trigger finger when I was a teenager, and by the time I was 20, uh, I had to have surgery. Uh, and everything went great with the surgery, uh, but by the time I turned 31, uh, I had trigger finger in my other hand. And uh, this time it had gotten extremely painful. Every morning I'd wake up and my finger would just be locked into this position. And it would bring tears to my eyes as I had to take my other hand and manually pull that nodule through that tendon sheath. I mean, it hurt and on a scale from one to 10, it was definitely a 10. And it got to the point where I couldn't play baseball or anything with my kids. I couldn't even tie my own shoes uh, because my finger constantly ached and was always getting locked in this position. So I decided I was probably gonna have to have surgery, uh, but when I found out the surgery was $6,000, it had went way up, um, I decided that I needed to probably try to look around and see if there was anything that I could do first. And I'm happy to report, I found something that works and it's worked well for me. And as you can see in my hand, I don't have any issue. Uh, so it was from a book written by the doctor who studied hands. I, I don't know his name, but anyway, he said that in all of his 35 years of uh, being a hand doctor, he found that anybody who took vitamin B6 would be healed of the trigger finger within six months. Uh, and specifically when I say vitamin B6, I mean P5P, which is what I have here. And you had to take 150 milligrams every day. So with that in mind, I set out to see if it was true. And I went to my local uh, drugstore and I purchased this P5P vitamin right here. And I'll put the link in the description uh, so you can get this on Amazon. Anyway, I've been taking this now for four months. It's a 50 milligram pill. I take one in the morning, one in the evening, and one right before I go to bed. And within two weeks, it was a noticeable difference. Uh, in conjunction to taking these pills, I also wore a finger splint like this at night when I went to sleep. And within two weeks, it was a noticeable difference. I still had stiffness, but it was probably on a scale from one to 10, it was probably now about a four. And as the four months has come to an end, I can actually go to bed without wearing a finger splint anymore, and my finger is not in the locked position, and it does not hurt throughout the day. So, I highly recommend, if you haven't taken the P5P, you try to take that 150 milligrams a day for six months. Now, like I said, I'm on month four and I have a noticeable difference to the point where in six months, I can definitely say that it will probably be gone because I barely have anything now. Every once in a while, I feel a little bit there, uh, but you can feel that that nodule has went down in there. Almost you can't even feel it anymore. So. P5P, I'll put the link in uh, the description where you can purchase that from Amazon. And then try wearing a finger splint at night, at least for a while. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will be glad to help because I know how bad it sucks to have the trigger finger, especially as a guy. It just makes you feel like you're in a weakened state and uh, it just kind of makes you feel vulnerable, honestly. Uh, I felt like if something ever happened and I, I needed to do something to protect my kids or something, it's just, it feels like that holds you back. So happy to report, I don't have it, not looking to get surgery now. And I think the P5P is gonna heal it. So I hope it works for you. Let me know if it does. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, I am very eager to help anybody I can because having trigger fingers stinks. So. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it.